Hello everyone, this is my playthrough through Beast Raid Peak of Hollow Tears. This was the teams that I used. Team 1 was the main team that I used. Um, I recommend with your um, Stormbringer cookie. Um, I recommend using Swift Chocolates just because there was a time where I went into expert mode and I just couldn't get... Like, just because you crit doesn't mean you're always going to be like going fast enough so I recommend Swift Chocolates for just that um, just the beginning because you see during hollow tears there you need to have an electrical cookie to get rid of the barrier first and then you go through the procedures of getting rid of the, the rock palms and stuff like that and then you have to also on this, I kind of, this is my first time playing the, this at all, but um, I was kind of caught off guard a couple of times, so it does look kind of wonky, but it, I mean, you can easily get through it in through easy mode, through hard mode, and but extra mode will be a different video because I ran out of time. So after this gauge, uh, they're going to keep throwing rock palms at you, but then they're going to try to smoosh you. And you gotta make sure to hit the circles out right. I, I messed a couple times because wasn't sure what's going on. But once I understood what was needed, um, I did it. Now keep in mind, you still get squished if you just do like if you do a couple misses or good. There's only three chances to do this. Now I got perfect on one of them, and when you do that, it actually holds up the barrier and destroys the palms where you take no damage. So, so keep that in mind. Now, after that's destroyed, you will fall, and then you gotta like uh, go again after. Um, that's in stage. Uh, that's in normal mode. Easy mode, obviously easy, pretty quick. You can do it that in like less than two minutes or less than a minute, really. And then, now keep in mind they they never got the English audio, so you're gonna have to read um, for this update. Um, for normal mode, same team one. Like, I did not change the teams because there's no requirement to change them. Now, there will be a situation where you do need typing in order to win the level quicker. But because of this solid team one that I used for my, um, for Arena, I usually win pretty quick with the team or you, you lose quick you know it depends on what you're versing because some uh, some cookies in arena are blacked out so we don't know what's on their team now as you can see here you're gonna get kind of bombarded with palms and then you destroy the palms that are blocking the uh, lotus flower and then once the lotus flower blows up uh, you get smashed and then you go down this is unavoidable for this so you go up, and then when you're at this uh, apathy phase, this what's going to happen is that she's going to do two things: either she's going to palm you by squishing you guys together, or she's going to smash the uh, the ground like Shadow Milk did during his raid. And uh, I messed up because I, I didn't. You just got to go the furthest one on the right because you go all the way back. I just didn't. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention too well, and I. Got squished. Now, yeah, see right here, I still did somewhat bad. Missed, missed, good. And then the last one I think was uh, good. And But see right here, he still smushed me. But if you get perfect, the top palm gets destroyed. Now, once you finish that section, you attack the, uh, the lotus again. There's no barrier for a lotus. Um, you, you still, I mean, there is the mis, uh, Mystic Flower Barrier, but you go through that real quick with um, your Creme Brulee Cookie.
Um, keep on trucking with the same team. Um, I just used Team 1. I tried to switch up some of the cookies. I didn't know if electrical uh, was going to be too important, so I put in, um, or, or darkness, I put in, see, there was one attribute that they wanted and was darkness, so I th I'm pretty sure um, Black Raisin is darkness, I think, and you also have, uh, I put Blueberry Pie for electrical, and just in case um, I was going to get stuck, I was going to use other um, attribute cookies in case, because see, the most important thing when you're doing these raids, you need an electrical cookie doing enough damage to get rid of the barrier. Now, an expert, uh, I ran out of um, time, you know, filming because it's it was like a 10 minute video I had to cut down, but it was such a pain um, to uh, only crit but not do enough, not be fast enough to whittle down the HP of the barrier. And, um, yeah, I, used, I had to restart it because it, it, w it wasn't winning on time, or timely enough. Now the thing is, you, you gotta be fast when you select, because um, when they get when they get the hand up, look, it's gonna swatch you. And it will, uh, you see the outline of where their hand is going to be. See right here, I, I know where to go, but I didn't move that one cookie fast enough, and it got whacked. So as soon as you see that um, semicircle, hit the very back one. That way you can escape it without getting hit now this is what I mean by if you get perfect uh, three times uh, you destroy the uh, barrier or you destroy the, the hand see the hands destroyed and you don't really take you don't get squished and uh, like I said this is pretty easy to level with just this one team really um, but with expert you gotta be really fast with your electrical damage. So I recommend Swift Chocolates with Stormbringer or whatever electrical cookie you're gonna use. Maybe Blueberry Pie. But I recommend very quick electrical uh, attacks so that you get through Expert pretty quickly. Otherwise you can't, you won't win on a timely basis. Like you'll run out of time because you're not doing, you're not going fast enough to do damage. Even though you're critting. And that's it for uh, the raids between easy and hard mode. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment. Please like and subscribe.